Trinity Spadina. Mr. Speaker, memos show that reference to gay rights were shamefully deleted from the Citizenship Guide at the behest of the Immigration Minister. Half a million copies have been printed with gay history censored. The Minister won't take responsibility and instead leaving his staff to blame. This simply is not acceptable. Will the Minister do the right thing, admit his mistake, stop laughing about this, and immediately apologize to Canadians? The Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Mr. Speaker, I take full responsibility for Discover Canada, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and uh, about that, the Montreal Gazette said that the 62-page guidebook is a solid step towards a healthy, self-respecting Canadian nationalism. We can all share, Mr. Speaker. The McLean said, beyond remedying the historical oversights of the previous versions, the new citizenship guide also provides clear-eyed and forceful statements of the expectations that's of current McLean's. Canadian McLean's. values. Now, Mr. Speaker, the old study guide, the one that's replaced, had, had zero mention of gays and lesbians in Canada. We corrected that in the new guide. But it's true, Mr. Speaker, there is no section on marriage. There never was, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and we are proud of this guide. We believe it does reflect the diversity of Canada. The Honourable Member for Trinity Spadina, order. Mr. Speaker, newcomers need to know that gay bashing is illegal. They need to know that gay marriage has, is to be celebrated. Is this minister saying that those important elements of Canadian law should not be made known to new Canadians? Why is it missing? Why is it censored away from the new citizenship guide? Canadians are tolerant, peace-loving, and we value our freedom. Let's make sure that newcomers are welcome in this spirit. Will the minister immediately restore this reference to gay rights and gay history to the citizenship guide right now? The Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Speaker, perhaps I have a higher estimation than the member does about new Canadians. I don't believe that yeah. new Canadians they don't need to be are told. potential gay bashers, Mr. Speaker. I believe that new Canadians come here to respect our laws to respect our laws and the dignity of other Canadians. Mr. Speaker, we make very clear in this document that was well accepted right across, I believe, the political spectrum, right across the country, uh, that there are rights and responsibilities. And amongst those responsibilities are following the laws and respecting the dignity of all Canadians. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud that this is the first citizenship guide that does mention gay and lesbian Canadians, unlike the one that it replaces, Mr. Speaker.